Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Ask Script videos. In today's video, we are going to add a updated date to our table column here. So every time we update something in our table, anything here, it's going to populate a date over here. And we're going to use Google Apps Script to do that with an on edit function. And I'll kind of demonstrate here how this works. So if I go up here, say 2006, I hit tab, it's going to populate a date in here. So it lets me know, and this goes for any column in here. Say we have a black F150 and I change this to Ford. And it's going to give me the date. And along with this date here is Google Sheets does have a history log as well. So if we want to find out who made that update, we can go up here, right click on the cell and go to show edit history. And it'll show I edited it on this date or I replaced it with this with this. So you could tell who made the update on this row as well along with the date. And the date's nice because it's an easy visible look right here. You don't have to right click to see the date. It gives you a date. And I can copy one of these. Hit control C, copy it down here. And it'll populate a date. So it's really nice to have. It's a good quick reference to have. And I'll show you how I put this together with some very simple Google Apps Script code. And I'll provide that code in the comments below the video as well. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest video. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google spreadsheet. I got it named updated date Google Sheets and my sheet name is data. And that's kind of important because that's what's in my code here. And I just got a plain simple data table here with one header record here and some data below. I have no formulas in this, but you can have formulas in here as well. I'm going to add a column called updated date. Make it look nice like the regular header columns and now I'm going to add the code, the Google Apps Script code to populate this column here. So I'm going to go to Tools, I'm going to go to Script Editor, I'm going to give my project a name here, hit OK. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my code, and again this will be in the comments section below the video. So there I have it copied, I'm going to hit Save, and I'm going to kind of go through it. So this on edit function is a trigger action from and this hits every time you make an update on your Google spreadsheet anywhere around here and it can be multiple sheets you can have multiple sheets you can update something on another sheet this will fire off and it carries some information on this e object this return object so from there we can get the range here we can get the the range the source and those are the two things we're going to get back. Uh, this does provide some more information as well. And I, uh, I tagged another video on this video that you could check out. And it kind of goes through some more options you can pull back as well. But in this video, we're just going to do these two. And then from this source, I'm going to grab the spreadsheet. I'm going to get the active sheet and the name. So now I got the sheet name here. And then from the range, I'm going to get the row that was updated. So that gives me the row. Down here, I'm doing an if statement. So I'm looking for this particular sheet name. So again, my name down here is data, all capital letters. I got all capital letters here equals data. So now we're going to fire these next two. So this next statement is just getting a new date, which is the current date here. And then my last statement is I'm using this spreadsheet. Again, from up here from the source, I'm getting the active sheet and getting a range. So now I'm passing in my row here. So whatever row number I update, it could be any one of these, I'm passing that row through. And then this is important, the column. So for me, it's six here. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six. 
that's the sixth column. If you have a bigger table and your updated is way over here, you'll have to change that number. So again, we got the six as the column. Now we're setting the value, which is our date, our new date here. This new date is just a JavaScript command here, brings in the current date. And then we're setting the format of that date to this. Month, day, year, hour, minute, second, and then AM and PM, so A or P. So that completes this function here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our sheet. We have it saved here. So we're gonna go up to our sheet and now we're just gonna make a change here. So I'm gonna change this to 900. Hit tab and now the day populates. Same with down here. Now it populates. And again, you can also check who made that update here by clicking on this, right clicking, clicking on show edit history, and it shows you right here, this was added. And again with this, down here, it'll show you who added it as well. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.